Hey everybody, welcome back to Tour Validated. Chris McCormick here, joined with DJ Lance and Pete from Ping. Now, we've been hanging out here at Ping, and no trip to Ping HQ is complete without, I mean, obviously a little sneak peek at Gold Putter Vault. I mean, this is a this is a thing of legends in the in the golf industry here. It so, is. Pete, why don't you uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about where we are and how this got started? Well, it's a, to your point, it's a one and only, right? There's nothing else like this in mm -hmm. the golf industry. So we're in the Ping Gold Putter Vault, and this is a tradition that was started by Karsten Solheim, the founder of Ping, back in the 70s when uh, he started to realize that he had a pretty good product. It was winning a lot of tournaments and he wanted to acknowledge those wins. Typically, back then, a brand might write a check to a player and say, thank you very much for winning with our product. Karsten thought differently, as we all know, and he thought, well, I don't want to just give them money for that. Let's create something bigger, something more memorable. So he came up with this idea of gold plating uh, the winning putter. And his idea was, I'll make one for the player that they can have put in their trophy case or whatever. And then I'm also going to make one and just for our own purposes. Now, back then, he had no idea what he was creating. Right. That second putter he put in the closet in his office and moved on, right? Well, eventually that closet got full. Mm -hmm. So he had to move to a bigger closet. Then that got full and he had to move it into the vault. So we created this vault. It's been a great story. People love coming in here. And it's definitely, uh, if you're coming by Ping, we want to show you the gold putter vault. There's a lot of lot of winning putters in here, more than 3,200 as we sit here today. Naturally, our goal is to add a couple every weekend, right? So, yeah. you know, there's a lot of tours around the world playing and, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, we're adding several a month anyways, which just continues to grow um, the count in here, which is really our goal. So hopefully we'll outgrow this vault. So you're gonna, have to you're go gonna need a bigger vault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, but all the, you know, back to, uh, early 60s, you know, the top names in golf have a putter in here. The first win goes back to 1962, which is John Barnum. Your your viewers may not recognize that name, but he won the Cajun Classic. With, it's worth a Google. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's definitely. And then over the years, Seve Ballesteros uh, has the most putters in the vault representing wins. And interestingly about Seve, he used an answer the entire time. So, so uh, he was every a, win he has exactly answer putter. Answer putter. Now there's other players that have multiple putters, multiple designs because they they tend to maybe experiment a little bit more. So sure. and you also see there's a few uh, wedges and irons in here for I historic saw, yeah, saw shots. That. You know Bob Tway uh, when he won the PGA back in 1986. That was an I2 sandwich, yep. right? That was a pretty memorable moment and worthy of, of being commemorated in the gold putter vault. Absolutely. Well, I have a question. Yes. yes. Looking around, there's so many different putters. How are they organized? So great question. They're organized alphabetically from uh, this way all the way around. And then this last rack here, those are all the major championship wins. Oh, so we call those out to make it a little bit easier <clears throat> to, uh, you know, for our guests to kind of uh, thumb through those and see see what they can find. I'm, right? I'm noticing something with major winners. There are, is a lot of blades. A lot of blades, a lot of answers, right? Back to the answer story. It was a very popular putter and it continues to be very popular today. Looks like if you want to win a major, you might have to play a blade. That is so all- That's kind of the way that it looks. It, yeah. yeah, there's some mallets in there, but yeah. you're right. As a rule, there's there's a lot of blades in there and um, for good reason, right? I guess so. so yeah. Now, I do have a little bit of hope. I, I see a tine down there. Yep. Yes. And that just so happened to be- What you got fit into. What yeah. we got fit into yeah. here. Absolutely, so the tine's relatively new, so it just needs time to catch up. Yeah. So we're confident- Saying there's a chance. There's definitely a chance, so. Very interesting spot. I know I could sit here and look around all day. But is there anybody in here that sticks out? Is there a favorite win? Is there a memorable moment that you're like, I remember watching that putt get hold, and now you get to see the putter in It's hand? a good question. I don't know if I have a favorite because I'm so into it. You know, those right. of us, I'm I'm watching every weekend, and you know, a lot of times we just say, what's the the best one, the last one, right? You've yeah. heard that line, right? Yep. So, so I think as long as 
you know, pros are out there winning with our putters. Um, that makes us feel good. And it just contributes to this, um, you know, this idea that Karsten created and, and it's really caught on. And like I said, he didn't know what he had at the time, but eventually it was like, we need to show people these, right? So we really love it when people come in and, and we have these white gloves on just in case your viewers are wondering why, why do we do this? If you come in here and you want to look at putters and spend hours in here, you just have to wear the gloves in order to keep your fingerprints off them. But uh, we encourage that sort of interaction. Wow. In That's amazing. I know uh, we had a conversation earlier today. Ping is a company that has treated its employees so well for so many years. And I asked if Pete had known anyone that had been here over 30 years. And he said, yeah, you're, you're eating lunch with one of them. He's been here 39 years, so you got to see this vault grow quite a lot. I did, yes. It speaks a lot about the uh, company and the heritage yeah. and, and uh, the history. It's an amazing company, mm -hmm. and uh, they treat their employees uh, wonderfully. And just, it's things like this that, that make it all worthwhile, right? Yep. So you can celebrate. Um, you know, you talk to some of the engineers about when they see their product winning, right? All of us have that feeling. Like, yep. All right, that's a good thing for the company. Yep, absolutely. It's cool to look around this room and go, I have players I've worked with in here. Yeah. Right. And right. that's super cool to me. Yep. Yeah, and that's what, you know, people come in and they say, hey, where's so-and-so's? Or, where, you know, can I see? You know, absolutely. They're all in here. Uh, you know, we keep, uh, keep very close track and we have a process. You know, we have a win. Um, you know, there's a person responsible for administering the ordering and the, the proofing, right? When you're sure. putting somebody's name on a putter, you darn well better spell their name right. Uh, yeah, gold plating, probably can't afford many typos. No, right? we, we but if, if it's wrong, we'll send it back and fix it. Because yep. that's, that's what we do. Well, I love uh, it. Yeah. You know, thanks for tuning in. This has been a special experience to end the day here in the Ping Putter Vault. It has been something that I've wanted to see for a very long time and to set foot in here and spend the day with Pete. Can't thank you enough for it. So. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe the video and uh, stay tuned. We have more stuff coming.